Hello friends, let's learn how to use element exist activity in UiPath and what are the properties and how to utilize them. So for element exist activity, all we are doing, we will take a simple example. We'll use an open browser activity first of all, so that we will open a portal and try to check the UI element. So the element exist activity, the use of element exist activity enables to verify if a UI element exists or not. So it, it is only for the verification purpose whether it's available or not. So it will give you result yes true or false even if it is not visible to human eye. So you may not see it on the screen but if there is some UI element in the background in the uh, instead of a foreground even those things can be detected. Okay so it just tells you whether a UI element is visible uh, is available or not. Okay just to verify that. So it provides a boolean variable true and false. This is very useful in a if statement activity. So let's see that how it works. Okay, so for that what I'm going to do, let me use a um, simple, uh, we'll use a google.com. Uh, okay, we'll just use google.com site and we will try to verify when you go to google.com what happens. When you go to google.com, so the moment you launch, you find a google search activity right so google search this google search button whether it's available or not let's find out if we change the url what happens let's see that let me show you so first of all let me use the element exist activity drag and drop that and here i'm going to click on indicate element and i'm going to highlight this button google search okay now the element exist activity is going to find whether this google search button is available for the portal that it has opened while using an open browser activity remember to select the browser type to chrome okay so depending on your necessity so i am using chrome so i'll be selecting chrome and then here the google search activity once it finds the output would show in a boolean format so i'll create a variable control plus k let's say this is the status right so let me use status as a variable so this status will tell whether it's true or false this is a boolean value so how do you know all of this how do you remember for a long time all you need to do is highlight this it will tell you indicates if element exists or not the field supports only boolean variable the other part once you come to variable it also tell you it is a boolean variable so true or false will be the output okay now this can be used with if activity to determine if it is available do this way if this is not available do the other way right so here what i'm going to do i'll use the status variable and i will say equals to if it is true so i'm saying equals to you don't have to put double quote simply say true okay if the status equals to true then let it show a message box stating Uh, Google search exists okay if not let's quickly copy this and come to the else part here you can define does not exist okay so in your project you will take a new flow altogether depending on the requirement of the project you will do but this becomes a decision point for you right this becomes a quite quick decision point depending on the ui element whether it's available or not so you can make a decision and you can build your own workflow all right so once this is done all i want to do is just run it and see before i run it let me close this website and try to run this so here uh, it will open google.com now and it should tell me that that uh, the google search button is available okay so you can see google search exists is saying okay what if if i go back to this and instead of google.com i am going to write imghp which is for the image google images okay if i type this right if this url opens up will this have a google search okay so this page does not have a google search button so generally it will wait for 30 seconds more our activities in uh, uh, most of the activities in ui path will wait for that is the default time 30 seconds okay uh, or 30,000 milliseconds so for 30 seconds it will wait in case it is not appearing then it will show does not exist so this takes time so let's say you do not want it to open for 30 seconds rather you wanted to wait for let's say 10 seconds so all of that 
does not exist okay so you can see it did wait for 30 second and then appear does not exist so you want to make your workflow work slightly quicker rather than waiting for 30 seconds you wanted to make it slightly quicker so what you want to do in the element exists there is something called timeout millisecond okay so here you click and in by default it will have 30,000 uh, milliseconds so instead of that I want to make 10 seconds right uh, so I will say 10,000 let's say 5 seconds let's say not even 10 seconds so I will say 5,000 5,000 milliseconds and click on ok now you will see if I run this uh, you don't have to wait for such a longer time uh, it should pull the uh, result quite quickly within 5 seconds so let it open the page and I'm expecting it to show that output in a quicker way okay so it does not exist so within five seconds it has come so that is how you can utilize the property panel if you know what they are and how to use them you can pretty well use depending on your project need thank you guys